In November 2015, a hacker exploited a SQL injection vulnerability on VTech's Learning Lodge App Store website, gaining root access to their network and databases. The hacker downloaded multiple databases containing nearly 5 million parent accounts and over 6 million children's accounts. Additionally, 190 gigabytes of data, including children's photos, chat logs, and voice recordings, were compromised. The hacker claimed to be an ethical hacker, motivated by VTech's lax security practices, particularly concerning children's data. They contacted journalist Lorenzo Franceschi Bicurai at Motherboard to expose the vulnerability. Initially, VTech denied knowledge of the breach until contacted by Motherboard. They issued vague press statements, took down vulnerable websites, and hired FireEye for incident response. Services were partially restored after two months, but the App Store remained unavailable for longer. VTech revised its terms of service and privacy policy to be COPPA compliant, claiming encryption of photos and voice messages. U.S. Senators Markey and Barton questioned VTech regarding COPPA compliance. A class action lawsuit by parents against VTech North America was dismissed in July 2017 due to lack of demonstrable harm. The FTC fined VTech $650,000 in January 2018 for COPPA violations. VTech agreed to revise its security program and undergo 20 years of audits. A 21-year-old man was arrested in the UK, possibly related to the breach, but details remain unclear. VTech's stock dropped 13% after the breach but recovered within three months. VTech stored passwords using unsalted MD5 hashes, a weak security practice, and their websites lacked HTTPS. Furthermore, VTech was using outdated ASP 2.0. The information is based on the Darknet Diaries podcast and the accuracy of all details hasn't been independently verified. It is also important to note that the podcast episode aired before July 2023, so any updates after that date are not included in this summary.